I guess. And even if I did, it would all end it on what these comic condition were. So I'd like to call my buddy down and he can shed some more light on me about these comics. And then with his information, I can come to a price I'll leave it on the table. Okay.
So I have a friend of mine who's like 1500 dollars. It's more like having a couple of people over and 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 over and
amazing, dude. My husband has heart disease, COPD, and lung cancer from smoking. Today he's being tested to see if the lung cancer has spread. He may be the one getting the test, but we both will get the results. The people you love are worth quitting for. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. It's important to surround yourself with the right people. I've got my workout squad, my brunch squad, and my favorite, my savings squad. They find me the best deals, so I'm not stuck paying for anything that I don't have to. That's why I'm all about car shield. If your car is out of warranty, you got to call car shield today. Because when your car breaks down, you're the one that's holding the bill. Car shield administrators help get those repairs paid. That's straight up savings on car repair. So the phone and call car shield before your car breaks down. Darling, this is very important. Call before your car breaks down. The secret room. We rely on the parents with extensive knowledge and experience to fix our cars. I trust car shield with my baby, and you should too. Car shield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. Car Shield administrators will be extra mild by including car vision. Ah, uh, services for flat or damaged tires.
who treated it using a color printer. Um, it's in pretty good condition, mine was a little spot up here. What are you looking to do with it? Oh. How much are you looking for? 8,000. I really want to buy it, but I just don't have people come in here looking for boxes of clothes. Can you take three grand for it? No, I can't do three grand. Can you do seven? Honestly, that's way too high for me. If I can bump it up a little bit, maybe like 33. Can you do five? 35 is really going to be the best I can do. And I'm just offering you that because my box club is better than I have and I think they need to raise the book by this. Alright, deal. Alright, I'm going to check the counter and we'll wrap it up. Alright. Rick loves Saturday Night Live. Since he's old, I know he can some help with his digestive situation. If I consider this a smart purchase, it kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, what's been super fun about it? This is uh, from August 1918. It's like 100 years. And it's, um, what is it? New York Times newspapers. The full, the full newspaper. Picture sections, box scores, all sorts of things. Um, Did you have really big bookcases at your house? I have a complete set of New York Times newspapers from the month of August of 1918. I got them in the early 80s. Yeah, I've had them ever since. If I'm able to make this sale today, I'm probably going to give it to my wife because she's going to Hawaii next month. This is pretty cool. This is New York Times. Yeah, I remember this is 1918, and over 90% of the people in the world would never travel more than 50 miles from where they were born. Um, there was no internet back then, so newspapers with picture sections like this was really fascinating to people because they got to see different parts of the world they would never get to see. Wow. Um, the picture sections here are amazing. Mm -hmm. Libraries all around the country had an archive with uh, newspapers like this. The ads, the articles, the business world, everything. It just really gives you an insight of how different the world is in just a hundred years. Uh, it's made with an expensive paper because it's not made to last. Yeah. Uh, no, it's too cheap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how much do you want for this? Because I can just nerd out on this for hours. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to get 500 for it. You know, generally newspapers are worth next to nothing. Huh? Okay, um, it is cool that you have a whole month of August. Um, maybe 250 bucks. Oh, 250, huh? I really have no idea if I'll ever be able to sell this, but I will probably peruse it for a few days. Uh, about 300. How about 250? I think it's really, really neat. It's really cool to a nerd like me. Someone might pay me 400 bucks for it if I'm lucky. Right. But that's the lucky. Alright, we gotta do it. Alright, sweet. I'll meet you in right over there. Uh, we'll do some paperwork. I'll get you paid. Alright. This is strictly a nerd purchase, but I can't help myself so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs>